Hi everyone and welcome to today's morning report on Tuesday the 2nd of September with me Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech Markets. The European markets have started fairly positively and that is despite the lack of steer from Wall Street yesterday and the US was on public holiday for Labor Day so uh, no um, real movement outside of um, from uh, the US so uh, the Asian markets were actually again also fairly positive and that has been driven by this strength of the dollar um, that has um, made the yen weaker and um, the uh, Japanese exporters love a weak yen and um, the uh, Nikkei was strongly higher about a percent and a half higher and uh, that has driven a bit of gains at the, at the open for these European markets um, in terms of um, what we've uh, what we've really been looking out for in the last day or so, well, the the manufacturing PMIs have started off um, for, certainly for the eurozone. They were fairly uh, on the weaker side of neutral, um, and also the UK as well was fairly weak. Um, and uh, that weakness in the UK manufacturing PMI is driven uh, sterling lower and certainly sterling weakness is one of the big stories for today at the moment um, as the uh, US has come back um, into trading. But um, what we've got is uh, therefore um, markets looking reasonably positive um, moving into the open and uh, in terms of uh, the dollar strength we've seen a move up above that 82.6 dollar index um, resistance high that's the September high now that move on the dollar index is certainly being translated into uh, some key moves on um, such currency pairs as the yen uh, and also also on the gold price as well sharply lower gold um, tends to fall away when we see dollar strength and that is certainly what we're seeing today so that's that breakout that we've seen on the dollar index above that key September high just shows that um, we've now got very little at resistance actually and up until towards those um, July 2013 highs above up above um, 84.5 so uh, some certainly some upside potential in this dollar move at the moment and uh, it'll be interesting to see how it reacts um, today and also you've got this afternoon the um, ISM manufacturing data that is forecast to come in at 57.0 now I think anything really that um, uh, s that shows a, a bit of a consolidation considering you had such weakness in the uh, euro European PMIs for uh, yesterday. Um, any any uh, US number that shows a, 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 an element of consolidation would be considered positive for the dollar, certainly, and uh, that would be um, dragging certainly all these currency pairs in the direction of the dollar once again today. Also, probably seeing weakness in the gold price. But um, what we've got um, other than that today is the UK construction PMI at 9.30. There's not major bit of data really for the UK. It's second tier certainly around about 7% of the UK economy is construction. So not a huge, um, not a huge driver there, but 61 and a half expected still. So that takes me on to my chart of the day and this Euro Sterling chart, which has had a big correction actually in the last week and a half um, and that sort of scuppered all, all this weakness that we saw last um, in the last few days has scuppered that big base pattern that we had building on uh, on euro sterling and uh, it now just looks as though the pressure is to the downside although you've had a, a, a tick um, uh, certainly a jump to the upside today it just looks as though on this um, on this hourly chart uh, on the intraday basis that uh, there's a nice step to decline now going on that uh, is is being used so the old support becomes new resistance and uh, that new resistance coming in around about that 79.30 but certainly that 79.20 was also a resistance so it's up up to around about where we're playing this resistance now um, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what uh, the uh, euro sterling chart can do on this because it's certainly been driven by that sterling weakness today rather than any euro strength euro is fairly much holding its ground against the dollar at the moment but if you look at these these momentum indicators, they're certain, certainly still in negative configuration. MACD lines, stochastics getting up into overbought territory already. Um, and uh, oh, interestingly, though, the uh, G, uh, the uh, RSI is just moving up towards 60, so it'll be um, 
if it can get towards 70 then maybe that would uh, suggest a change in outlook but certainly at the moment it just looks like this is another rally within the uh, within the corrective phase and uh, it looks like it could be hitting its head up above um, into resistance coming up around in that um, t certainly a 40 pit band between 79.20 and 79.60 but uh, on this uh, on this daily chart you'll see here that uh, we've actually come back and formed a bit of support on the uh, on the uptrend so some fairly mixed signals here but uh, what you have got is uh, trading back below all the moving averages which suggests a, a deteriorating outlook also the uh, momentum indicators have uh, certainly lost some of that um, that recovery impetus that had had been dragging um, this euro sterling chart higher so it looks like it's um, just regaining some of that downside impetus for this sterling chart and any uh, any reaction that shows sterling coming up towards resistance i think um, could well um, see uh, another uh, another chance to sell because i certainly think that euro is weaker than sterling at the moment and uh, i'll talk to you in a bit about um, sterling uh, sterling dollar and also euro dollar but i think I'll, those charts will show you that uh, sterling is still quite um quite more positive than the euro and that should also suggest that uh, we see probably a retest of this of this 80 uh, sorry 7866 uh, reaction low that we had on july the 23rd so uh, i wish you good luck in your trading on euro sterling today and i'll speak to you later thank you